So there I was, my second year of college, ready to start class, and I get notified that there's no money. The Pell Grant is no longer available. So I'm sitting there trying to decide, what do I do? I don't want to be a failure. Second year of college, I'm already at school. I'm literally ready to start class, and I get notified, no money. So I'm trying to figure out what do I do next? And the first thing that comes to mind is that, you know, my parents always taught us to do the best wherever you are, make it work. So I went and got a part-time job at Wendy's of all places. Got a part-time job and um, they hired me. And um, so I went back to school and I said, well, we're gonna make this work. So did the student loan since I didn't have the Pell Grant and started my classes and it was a different type of a feeling because when you're not on campus with your friends, you're working. And when you're not there, you kind of lose touch with really what's going on in school. And so here I am sitting there trying to decide, how do I make this work so that I'm a really good student? So I go to school, I go to work, and that's really what I'm doing for that first full semester. Work in school, work in school, not having any time for any, you know, time with my friends, but I'm trying to make money because that's what I got to do. I got to pay the student loan off uh, because I know it's going to come due as soon as I finish school. So, you know, I'm just working really hard, but it's the challenge is trying to work really hard and trying to be a really good student and try to make those grades to make my parents proud. And unfortunately, it just really wasn't happening. Yes, I was getting good grades. Yes, I was making money, but I wasn't making an A. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm all about making sure that I do the best, give it 110%. And so I had to make the difficult choice of, what do I do? The difficult choice was I could no longer continue my school education because I had a job and it wasn't allowing me time to really focus and do the best that I could do. So I ended up dropping out of school. And unfortunately, when I dropped out of school, of course, you know, the loan came due. Um, Wendy's could no longer supply that financial support that I needed. And so here I am finding myself driving back to Virginia um, because I wasn't able to be successful in working and going to college. So driving back to Virginia, I decided one day to stop um, to get gas and I saw a sign um, that just hit me. It wasn't a sign for work, but it was just a sign that I saw. And so then I went into the local bank and applied for a job. And I started working so that I could pay back that student loan. And that's really what kind of happened because, you know, when you're faced with a challenge of whether it's work or just your education, because you got to pay those bills, you got to do what's, what's most important. You got to do something to get you over that edge of, you know, so I don't go, have bad credit. That's really what my main thing was. Didn't want to have bad credit. So I started working for a bank. And that's really how the story started around trying to deal with the challenge of, you know, education versus going to school. And that's really what happened.